Hello everybody and welcome to Drew in the moment. We are here in East Corinth, Vermont for a amazing, amazing trip that we took to show you guys the filming location of Beetlejuice 1 and now for the second one. So we're going to show you guys what they got going on. Uh, I know the house is already, it's like wrapped up so it doesn't get all, all messed up, but we're still going to show it to you guys. Uh, and there's like Halloween stuff that obviously is going to be in the movie that they have kind of laying around. So we're going to show you that as well. I am beyond excited. I've been meaning to get here for years. Beetlejuice in my heart. One of the, one of the best movies ever. Uh, it, I watched it so many times as a kid, but anyway, I, uh, I just can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's show you guys around Winter River, the, the pretend, uh, you know, town in Beetlejuice. So let's go do it. It's showtime. This is truly amazing. They have the sign up for the Winter River Fire Department. As you guys can tell, some Halloween decor. I'm gonna to try to get a little closer to some of that stuff. But oh my goodness, man. This is absolutely insane. It's surreal to be here right now. I, I couldn't be any happier. I really could not be any happier. So enter for $2 if you dare. So obviously that's going to be in the movie. I can't wait to see this stuff in the movie knowing that we got to check it out first. Just crazy. So they've got some spooky stuff going on here. You got the ghosts on the window. And this building right here in uh, the first Beetlejuice was uh like the the hardware store where adam came to uh get his get his paints for the models but i guess it's rewind coffee roasters i'll have to wait to see the movie obviously but man this is just insane they are they're turning this little town and i'm telling you it's very very little you would not expect that a Hollywood, you know, movie would be filmed at a, at a small location like this. Look at that Winter River Vintage. Oh my goodness, man. Ooh, and I remember this. Let me know in the comments if you guys remember those decorations right there. I love those. I grew up with those. And I'm wondering when they're going to start filming because I have no idea. But check out the lamp post. Check this out. That's going to be a lamp post in the town. They look like they have a few of them, um, a few of them like laying down all over the place. Right, Queen V? Oh this is exciting. <laughs> so pumped. I don't even know what to do with myself. Uh, so I'm just trying to show you guys everything. If I'm all over the place in this vlog, I apologize. But I am just so happy to be here. Oh, you need to zoom into that head. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I And I cannot wait for this movie. And they've got the very, very cool church here. Got a little, you know, little Halloween decor going on. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know what I was expecting today, but I didn't think I was going to see stuff like all decorated for like Halloween. Look at that. That's so amazing. I know it feels it feels like Halloween already. It feels like Halloween already. And they've already started, you know, putting uh, the fake uh, the fake spider webs all over the trees like I like I'm very I'm very interested that they're just uh, having just stuff out. I mean, obviously they got to get set up, but I'm like, man, just having it hang out. Okay, so that was, uh, you know, the little town area. Now we're gonna head over to the covered bridge, which normally is not covered. Uh, they actually covered it for the first movie and then they took it down and now they covered it again for the second movie. And uh, it's where, you know, Adam and Barbara met their fate. I can't wait to show you guys. Welcome to Winter River, slow down 15 miles an hour. Here is the covered bridge. Oh my goodness. 
This is crazy. It, it, it amazes me how quickly uh, they build stuff like this, man. Look at this thing. Unreal. Just unreal. And down there, there's not a lot of water. It's like a little stream or whatever. It's a little stream, and uh, in case you didn't know, a little fun fact, they actually had to put a dam on whatever side it was to build up the water to get the shot in the movie. This is crazy. Wow. So apparently this is Winter River. And just when you walk over the bridge, you have, you know, some cool pumpkins being lit up over there. We're not being lit up, but put out. Because obviously uh, they're going to get in the fun of the movie as well. Oh, here we go. We got a better angle. We got a better angle of Winter River. There it is. Look at that. And I wonder how the uh, how this how this bridge is gonna like. Are they gonna have another uh, person, you know, uh, drown or <laughs> in the movie? I don't know. Because this is like a big structure to build. Just. To, just to have it, you know what I mean? Crazy. So awesome. And Queen's over there. She's been taking photos for me because I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm losing my mind over here. This is amazing. This is so cool. You having you having a good time? Like I had said uh, earlier, they just have these uh, like lamp posts and stuff hanging out. They got like a cool skeleton, uh, or scarecrow rather. That's kind of cool. And all of this stuff, I know when the movie comes out, I'm gonna be looking for it, man. I am most certainly gonna be looking for it. Like a little tree, that tree right there, it's got eyeballs on it. Oh, and I'll just give you guys a cool shot right here. Look at this. So this is the road that we're just on with uh, you know the, the church and everything very very small area and I can see why they really enjoyed you know the the filming location why they picked it so now we are gonna head to the uh, the school for girls that Winona Ryder's character uh, you know she went to school there so we're gonna check that out now and uh, I saw on the drive-through that they had a little Beetlejuice like picture on the door so I'll have to check that out too get a photo op for sure here is Miss Shannon's School for Girls, founded in 1890. Look at this. They even have Winona Ryder's bike out there, or at least like, you know, a, a mocked up version of it. Oh my goodness. This is so surreal. In case you didn't know, they show this shot uh, at the end of the movie. But oh my gosh. Look at this amazing absolutely amazing blowing my mind right now my mind is blown so here is her bike that is so cool and look at that that that's a photo op that's a photo op right there and I wanted to show you they have a picture of the Maitland hardware so that was the hardware store that is now what was it, like the coffee shop or something. Oh man. So I actually talked to another uh, woman that was walking. There's a bunch of people here doing the same thing we're doing. Uh, but she had spoken to a guy that's kind of like overlooking to make sure nothing happens to anything. Uh, but things like the, the lampposts and stuff like that, they were actually gonna put all that stuff away. But for some reason at the last minute, they just left it out, so I'm so happy that they left it out so we can uh, show you guys some stuff that's gonna be in the movie. Now, this is the tricky part. I need to find a an angle to show you guys the Beetlejuice house because there's no way to really get up there. They're not gonna let us, you know, just saunter up to the place and, uh, and take photos and video and stuff like that. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna try to find a good shot so I can show you guys the house. I just love to see how happy Drew is. I love it. This is B 
beyond amazing. It is beyond amazing to me. I cannot even believe it. Like, I'm right here next to a movie prop. I lose I my know. mind over movie props before it's even in the movie. I'm right here with a movie prop. This is so exciting. This is insane. I am having so much fun with Queen Bee and uh, just being here to bring this to you guys. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Amazing. All right, guys. So I talked to a guy that is helping out around here. He said this is the best angle that we can get. Look at that. I hope they keep that to like just have it there at all times for people to come and check it out, man. Because it's just, they're not going to use that ground. Just keep it there and have it like a, a place for everybody to come and walk in the house. I think that'd be really cool, but who knows what they're going to do. But let me see if I can get a little more zoomed in. All right, we got a little more zoomed in just so you guys can see some of the detail. This is so wild, man. Very, very, very cool. This is uh, one of my uh, childhood uh, bucket lists complete for sure. Like I said, here it is. And also, I wanted to let you guys know, they actually, I just talked to the guy that told me about the shot with the house. They have already wrapped up filming in this location for Beetlejuice 2. So I just noticed over here too, they have the post office, but it's Winter River, Connecticut. So they're doing that. Uh, they're doing it all over the place. Just crazy, crazy cool. And what a small little area. I know I've already said that, but it, it's such a small little area uh, to put on such a big movie. And after I looked at it for a little while, I realized there's like a netting over it, I think, to keep it looking nice, I guess. <laughs> But it'd be cool if they kept it that way. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for us here in East Corinth. Just an amazing time. I'm so happy that we got out here to do this. I can't tell you how happy and excited I am. Uh, it's like a child, childhood wish come true. And then some, just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, don't, don't say Beetlejuice three times. Just remember that. that those, that's going to be my words of, of, of the wise. You know, don't say Beetlejuice three times, especially when you're here in East Corinth. But thank you guys for watching. Love you so much. Till we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. It's in the moment with Beetlejuice.